everyone. We're going to take a look at the item type for basic graphing. Let's start with the point value. So on star, it can either be counted as correct, incorrect, or partial credit. It is all dependent upon the question. In aware, you have three options. You can count it as correct, incorrect, partial credit, or point per task. As for content area and grade levels, this is mostly seen in upper grade levels, uh, secondary, and then some fifth grade math. Let's take a look at some examples. This one is from fifth grade math. And then this one is from sixth grade math. Okay, let's jump into aware. We are going to click the button for interactive item types. And then we're going to find the tile for basic graphing. First, make sure you set a primary standard. You can either use the filter option in the top right or you can scroll to find your teak. Next, think about your scoring method. And when you're ready, you can set a depth of knowledge. Okay, so let's construct our question here. So I'm going to have them graph two points on a coordinate plane. We're going to come down to the bottom right and find the continue button. All right, so I want to look at my settings for my graph and based upon the points that I'm having them graph, um, you can leave this as, as eight uh, and negative eight, or you can change these values. I'm just going to adjust them a little bit. Okay, um, you have the option of adding the axis title. So if you want to put that X in that Y, um, you can do that as well. You can toggle this on and off to show the arrows or not. All right, for your answers, you can set a maximum number of dots. And I want to be very clear about something with this item type. It specifically grades the dots that are plotted on the graph. So be careful if you're wanting students to graph the equation of a line. All right, so I'm going to leave it as a maximum number of dots. And I'm going to go ahead and set up the answer for this first point of negative 5, negative 2. Now for my next point, I want you to notice I did put a half in there and you do have the option to graph those now. You would change this extra answer choice interval and I would up it to two. So I would have three and four and a half. Here's the thing, if I wanna do the half, I have to grab that point and drag it to the half mark. Okay, you also have the option of turning on this function to draw a line connecting the two points. So I'm going to leave mine off. All right, double check everything real quick. Okay, come to the bottom right and click create. All right, let's go in and preview this so I can make sure it looks how I'm wanting students to see it. Okay, 